Hello everyone, in this video we are going to do a very simple math problem and you are going to be surprised that many of you are actually going to get this wrong. So why don't you use your calculator? So here is a problem, we have 8 times 8 divided by 8 8 times 8. So no huge numbers, no parentheses, exponent right here. So as you can see this is like an easy, easy problem on the first sight. Of course most of you out there are like, yes I can handle this, this is basic math problem, this is basic multiplication, basic division and I can easily solve this problem. So right now I suggest you to choose one option which is correct and go ahead and put your answer in the comment section. It will be really interesting to check our answer in the end of the video. And I'm going to show you the correct answer here in just one minute, so you can easily you can easily check with mine answer, yeah? So first of all, what is the first way to solve this problem? A lot of students solve it like that and I'm going to show you what is the first approach to solve this problem. So here is a problem, 8 times 8 divided by 8 and times 8. So this is the first approach to solve this problem. A lot of students say, okay, 8 times 8 equal to 64, okay? And they say, okay, 8 times 8 in the end equal to 64. And if we divide it, we will divide the same numbers. So 64 divided by 64 equal to, equal to 1, okay? And they say the answer is 1. So we'll see which is correct answer or not correct. So this is the first approach. So obviously, Whatever order you select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this to do this problem. And then okay, PMDMC order, the main popular order in the world, a lot of libraries, maybe all internet libraries, scientific calculator, graphing calculator works according to PMDMC order. So let's look at this order and just try to solve it correctly. So what is the first step according to this order? I read this problem once more. So eight times eight divided by eight and times eight. Yeah, so what is the correct order to do this problem? So the first step is parentheses right here. So are there any parentheses? No, I don't see any of those. We don't have any parentheses right here. And moreover, we don't have any exponents. So no squares, no cubes right here, which is really great. So we just skip this part. The next step, multiplication and division. But really interesting moment, maybe the tricky moment, a lot of discussion about it. But this is multiplication and division as one group, yeah? So this is one group, multiplication and division. And right now we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right, because we have like multiplication and division only right here. So this is our case. What is the first sign from left to right? This is the main step. The first sign from left to right, this is multiplication. So we need to start with this step. So let's multiply this 8 times 8. And as you can see, this approach, we can easily start with this one. But according to PMDMC, we need to start with this step. 8 times 8 equal to 64. So 64, and we still have this. A 64 divided by 8 and times 8. Yeah? So let's go ahead and continue solving this according to PMDMC. So as you can see right here, what is the first sign from left to right? And in this case, we still have division and multiplication. So what is the first sign from left to right? Right now, the first sign is not multiplication. Right now, the first sign is division. So we need to start with this division, yeah? So 64 divided by 8 equal to, equal to 8. And from the end, we have these times 8. Okay, 8 times 8 equal to equal to 64. And as you can see, according to PMDMC order, we have option C. But according to our, like, this is a common mistake right here, according to this common mistake, the answer is 1. The correct answer is 64. So I read this answer. Answer, this is 64, option, option C. This is a correct answer to this problem. But let's go back to this step right here. So it looks like correct, but not correct. And I asked to my student, okay, what do you need to put to this expression to get this one? And they answer, okay, if you put brackets, if you put parentheses, you need to start with this because this is the first and the main step. You need to start from this parentheses and you can easily start with this one. So 8 times 8, 64. This is not mistake because we have parentheses. And 8 times 8, this is not mistake because we have parentheses right here, which is equal to 1 when we divide this left and right hand side by each other. Yeah? So this is trick right here. You can easily... I hope you understand this trick. Of course, you can put this expression in your calculator and you, maybe a basic calculator give you a, a correct answer. Yeah? But if you're interested like in, in scientific calculator, graphing calculator, this answer will be, will be the same as in, in the beginning. So you can easily check this answer. It will be really interesting. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, okay? Now if you need to learn basic math, interesting brain test, IQ question, if you're struggling with basic math or like pre-algebra concept, you can easily subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it and I really 
I want to say thank you for your support, for your likes. Thank you for your time and have a great day. I wish you all the best in your mathematical adventure.